Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will talk about error handling in Oracle SOA. There are many ways with which you can handle business faults or technical faults that occur in your service flow. That's why I am going to divide this entire series in a few parts. And today we will be talking about uh, a generic way of handling all the errors that are coming in your flow. In this particular part one, we will be talking about catch all. What are the different functions that you can utilize that you can use as part of your error handling? And at this moment, I'm assuming that you are already aware of all the basics of SOA. You have gone through our last all the videos that we have created in SOA. So as of now, we have created around 30 videos that will cover almost everything that is there in SOA as far as the basics are concerned. So let's start. So as I said, today we will talk about the error handling in SOA. This is the first part of the series. So we will talk about a generic way to handle all the technical faults that comes in your service flow. So as you can see in, on my screen right now, we have I already created these two services to demonstrate you how you can handle faults in your SOA composite. This is the first service hello web service this is nothing this is just uh, whatever you'll send to this web service it will return as hello and that particular input whatever you give it's a simple soap service now this is second service error handling demo service in this service we are calling hello web service to return whatever the hello web service is returning to the calling service very simple architecture of these two services and this error handling demo service is the one with which we will play around to demonstrate different ways of error handling. We will talk about catch, catch all, throw, rethrow, and also there is a framework called together fault handling framework when you want to go into the more granular level details of the fault handling where you want to handle certain faults on certain components. And I mean, there is a lot to it. So we'll start with catch all today and i'll also explain you what are the different things that you can do uh, with that catch all activity or the catch all block in in your soa service so now let's just test it once at this moment i have not done anything in the services as far as the fault handling is concerned so let's first run this service and it should run smoothly this is the first time i'm also testing this service so Let's give something to this. Let's give John only. And now this service must have called the hello web service and hello web service must have returned hello John and the same should be returned as part of this service. So as you can see, it says hello John. So it is a successful run for both the services. So we called error handling demo service. We gave an input John. Then that service called hello web service and then hello web service returned hello John. The same was returned by error handling demo service. Now to forcefully put a fault into this, there are different ways. You can also create your custom faults that I'll explain you later on. But as of now, if I disable or shut down this hello web service it will fail it will throw a binding or uh, a remote fault so let's do that and let's see how the service behaves when there is no fault handling done in your composite so let's do that i'll go to my soa folder error handling demo and i'll simply shut down this service so now this hello service is no longer available Now let's call that service again to see how it behaves when there is no error handling done. Now I'm going to test it. So as we can see, it gave us this error. So let's go to the flow of this to see how it looks.
So flow state failed. You can see the error on the top here also. Not able to process messages and this invoke has failed. Now here we can also see the summary that what exactly happened, what is the message, what is the fault and stuff. As we can see, it's a remote fault here. So that this is what happens. Your entire flow is broken from this point because there is an unexpected technical error that has occurred. And error handling is all about handling these sort of situations in your code. So now let's see how we will handle this error. So this is uh, a simple code for error handling demo service. This is the people of it simply calls this service, assigns the input and assigns back to the response. So anywhere in our flow, if something fails, any error comes, any technical error comes, we can add a catch all branch to it. I'll click on this catch all. And as you can see, a separate sequence of catch all has come to this place. Now, if the error comes in this assign, this invoke, this receive anywhere in this whole flow, the flow will come, the transaction will come to this catch all block. So anything happens, anything happens here, it will come to the catch all block. Now, let's just suppose we can copy and paste the reply from here to this catch all. We can create a different reply also, we can create a different variable, same variable, hardly matters. But just to save some time, I'm going to use the same components that I have added in the main flow. Now, if error comes, I just want to reply to the user. Technical error has come. Let's save it. And deploy it. So it is deployed and even now we will not enable the hello service. We want the error to come. So let's test it again. But now we have implemented a certain error handling to it. Now let's see how it behaves. So it did not fail, but it said technical error has come. So it the error came and then it executed the catch all branch that has been added. So even if you go to this flow, you see the error did come. We got the remote fault, but we were able to successfully handle it because of which our flow is completed. Now that error has not terminated our flow. Now it's up to us what we want to do, how we want to handle it. For example, there are certain functions that can be utilized. We can insert that data into our log table. So in the advanced tab, we have certain functions that can be utilized as part of error handling. So if I come here, rather than giving a hard coded value, I can give get fault name, get fault as XML, get fault as string. So I can either give a fault name or a fault uh, as string it's totally up to me or i can give all of them also people usually create a different uh, schema altogether for the error handling itself people use ums adapter in order to send an email or an sms notification to the end user so that they are aware that a fault has occurred so for now let's just say fault name so if error comes i'll simply want to send a fault name and let me just concat this fault name with uh, 
okay apply and i will redeploy this service and we'll see what happens it is deployed now let's check what happens let's test it again and it will again fail however as we have handled it it says remote fault fault has come in the flow so this is the fault name remote fault if we want we can give the complete summary and the detail of it by using the function get fault as string it will have everything it will have the details message the fault name and everything that that we want usually people uh, format the whole fault summary and fault details and send it in a email body to the client that is a very common practice that people use within their frameworks so let's keep this video till here for now and in the next part i'll explain you how you can create a custom fault for example for a driver's license service if the user has sent uh, an application and he or she is not of 18 or above of age then we need to send a fault the fault that says uh, age is not eligible for driver's license or something like that some something that sort of scenario can be utilized what is the significance of this catch uh, block what is throw and rethrow activity when we can use it so we'll try and cover that in the next video and then later on we'll go into the more granular level and more complicated details of how the java action works in fault handling frameworks and what exactly the fault handling frameworks is what is fault binding fault policy all those sort of things we'll cover in this uh, series of error handling in oracle so on so thank you so much for your time take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day